next update, um, we have Tom Stevens here from TomBot, again, um, from our robotics pitch night, and we're excited to hear what updates you have. Sure, well, thank you so much, Katie, for having me. Uh, it's been an extremely busy last several months since our November pitch. Uh, uh, lots of updates to share with you. I think sorry, the, the theme for us, though, is, is COVID. Like with Anthony, COVID has been both a, a big challenge for us, but it's also been a source of new opportunities. Uh, uh, beginning in November, we were selected by Time Magazine as a best invention of 2020. Uh, since our pitch club meeting, we've raised over $700,000 investments, including uh, uh, investment that we received from the, uh, the Angel Pitch Club uh, membership. So thank you so much for that. Fantastic. We are in the process of launching a regulation crowdfunding campaign on Start Engine. We're currently doing a test the waters campaign, and we have about $150,000 worth of reservations so far on that. So we're we're looking for that as an additional source of fundraising to complement uh, our accredited investors, both institutional and angel investors uh, that we uh, that we work with. Uh, thanks to Time Magazine and other uh media coverage that we received we we actually uh appeared on jeopardy uh at the end of uh november one of the last episodes that alex trebek filmed before he was uh before he passed away wow um, we've added uh over three thousand uh customers to our wait list to a total of over eight thousand now um We've continued the technical development uh, with uh, our primary servo motor supplier We've developed an exclusive custom line of servo motors that give us much better control uh, over the servo motors than what is uh, has historically been available in the marketplace. We've also created new uh, control systems for our robot and for programming behaviors. We've completed the logic for detecting safety errors and recovering from those safety errors. Uh, for robots in our class, we will be the, most, the safest robot on the market. And we've landed two more uh, clinical study partners, one of which is Cleveland Clinic. Uh, they give us now a total of four uh, clinical study partners, all of which will be used for making uh, 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 FDA filings in the future, as well as advancing the peer review data that's, uh, that's out there on the efficacy of robotic animals. Um, so the, the, so the good news is we've become much more relevant uh, during COVID. Uh, uh, we won an award from Aging 2.0 on mitigating social isolation and loneliness in seniors. So that was that was a great win. Um, the downside is fundraising has been a real struggle. Um, we've had a lot of institutional investors pull back from investing wow. in new companies. They've uh, reserved their capital for investing in their existing portfolio. So it's been a challenge raising the money that we need to advance the company, but we've had more success here in the last six months or so. And, and uh, it's been enough to continue to fuel the company. And, uh, and right now we're raising a $5 million uh, Series C preferred round to take us the rest of the way to first customer shipments. Great, well, that's very exciting. Lots of exciting things happening, congratulations. Thank you. Um, a couple questions for you. Um, talk a little bit more about these clinical study partners and what are the outcomes you're looking at with them? Uh, so great questions and I'm, I'm not at liberty to discuss any details, but the I can tell you that all of these uh, studies are in the acute care setting. Um, and we're looking at demonstrating the efficacy uh, of robots for different patient populations, primarily seniors uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the acute care setting. So I'm, I'm gonna make up some of that might be even just reduction of anxiety and pain. And I, I know you're not at liberty to say, but I'm just gonna put that out there as a guess in some of those. If you're looking at that setting, that's probably a lot of it, I would think. You know, I, I can share with you a story, uh, an anecdotal story. Um, my mother, uh, who suffered from Alzheimer's dementia and was the inspiration behind Tombot, she fell and broke her femur uh, a couple of years ago and was hospitalized for about six weeks. When she was first admitted into the hospital, whenever a medical professional would enter her room, she would scream in terror 
thinking that that medical professor, a professional was there to hurt her worse. She was non-compliant with any medical treatment and required physical restraints for the medical professionals to get anywhere near her. I went and got her prototype robot from home and uh, brought it to her and she hugged it very tightly to her chest and she said, Bob, she named her prototype Bob. Bob is helping me relax. She was still afraid. She was still uh, in a lot of pain. But from that point forward, she was medically compliant. Uh, she was we allowed the medical professionals to do their jobs. And so we're, we're looking at building the, the peer review evidence that, that shows that these, these, uh, uh, these robots can make a real difference for people like my brother. Yeah, that is that is super exciting. And you said 8,000 customers wanting this product, um, which I understand is still a little ways away. Um, I, I'm sure you've heard stories from many of these people and what, what are their hopes um, that this robot is gonna be able to do for them? Yeah, one of the most uh, gratifying parts about this company and, and, and having, is having the opportunity to talk to customers and hearing their stories. We have so many, uh, so many people that have shared why they need this for a loved one, whether that's a spouse or a parent, or on behalf of a, a child um, uh, with <laughs> autism and other special needs. Um, they're really looking for this because there's a void. Uh, that exists in their lives because they cannot safely or practically care for a live animal and therefore miss out on the many physical and mental health benefits associated with human animal bond. Uh, and, and these people are, 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 are free with their hopes and dreams about how our robot can make a difference uh, for them or for their loved ones. Well, that again, super exciting. I, I love what you're trying to do. Um, you know, and I, and I think about the pandemic and I do have a live animal. I have a dog um, and I, I love the term quarantine mate because he's been with me, um, you know, through the entire times that we have been quarantined, um, you know, unofficially unable to go a bunch of places. Luckily, I did not get sick or actually quarantined, but um, it's been nice to have him. So I completely get it. Um, and, and it's very exciting. So I'll ask the same um, question for you, Tom, around um, how can our network help? What, what are you looking for? Um, and how can we help you succeed and move this project forward? First and foremost, we're looking for investors. Um, we've been very fortunate to already receive a significant investment from an Angel MD uh, member. So thank you again for that. Uh, even though we're raising through regulation crowdfunding, we also accept direct investments over a certain minimum from accredited investors. So it's regulation D 506 C as in Charlie. Um, uh, and so investment uh, really helped fuel us uh, along this path. Uh, secondly, advisors. Um, we are always looking for new uh, uh, indications, uh, uh, new customer populations, uh, patient populations where we can make a difference. We, with our, uh, we have had pre-orders for, um, uh, of course, adults with dementia, uh, seniors with dementia, but also uh, anxiety, major depressive disorder, PTSD, chemical dependency, hospice settings, so palliative care, even when there isn't a dementia component. Um, uh, uh, and uh, just looking at you know, chronic loneliness and things like that with other otherwise cognitively healthy um, adults and seniors. So if there, are, if there are advisors out there that have expertise in these areas or another one where they think that this might be useful, we would love to talk to you and, and, and get your input as it might help us develop the features and functionality to make sure our product uh, provides a medical benefit for uh, each of those populations. Fantastic. Well, thank you again for being here today and giving us an update. I have to tell you, like the wheels are turning as, as a pediatrician, you mentioned autism. 
Um, but there are so many other places where I would think, oh, this could be great. I realize we're talking about, you know, geriatrics and elderly care, but um, I go immediately to um, how we can support the kids because everybody needs a lot of help and support right now. So foster children is uh, uh, an area of particular interest for one of our investors. Uh, they want to make sure that our product gets in the hands of these foster children so that they have an emotional attachment object as they're transitioned. Yeah. From a living situation to a next. You know, we're focused on being evidence-based, science-based, making sure that we're providing a, a, a mental health or physical health benefit. Um, but there may be an opportunity to provide a service that is just uh, an emotional comfort for somebody that, uh, uh, that we can do. For sure. Well, thank you both again, Tom and Anthony, INF Care and Tom Bot. Thanks for being here today to give us an update. Um, I look forward to sharing this with our network and um, hopefully we'll um, come back in another six to 12 months and uh, get another one because there's some exciting stuff happening. So thank you for being with me here today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.